So today I really wanted to do a video on Rome Research. I really wanted to do some content on it. I want to actually talk about something I use inside of Rome Research a lot, and that's Rome 42. So this is something made by someone called Rome Hacker. Um, I didn't do a whole lot of research into this, probably should have, but he basically created this thing that enhances Rome Research. When you load it into your workspace, you will create basically this extension. You're going to have different commands. You're going to be able to build templates a lot better. You're going to have a lot of customization tools inside of Rome Research. It just makes Rome Research better. It's just like an enhancer. It's the best way I can put it. There's just so many features. I don't really know what to call it. So I'm going to show you how I create my daily documents and how I use my daily documents inside of Rome Research using Rome 42 Smart Blocks. So I just want to show you my um, setup for tracking ideas. I create content. I create written content and I create video content. And I have a really, really hard time just like keeping track of ideas. And I'll have an idea and I'll hate it. I always hate all of my ideas and I'll just store it away in my brain. Like I won't write it down. I'll just go, I hate that idea, forget that idea. And I end up having writer's block a lot because of this. I don't really use daily documents very often in these programs. So that's also another reason why I wanted to create this idea template. Um, just to have something to do every morning. Every morning I go in and make sure I am writing like three to five solid ideas. And then I also have a section inside this template for free writing. So I want to free write for 10 minutes every morning. And so far, I've started this on January 1st, this little uh, routine. So far, it's been going really well. And I have to give it to Rome Research and its interface for allowing me to keep up with this. I am someone who does not keep up with daily tasks. So this is like really impressive that I'm now on day seven. It's pretty simple. I don't have anything crazy fancy inside of here. But if you're interested in smart blocks and Rome 42, this might be interesting. So let's just get right into this. So my daily notes, if I click up here in the top left hand corner, if I scroll down, I will see yesterday and then January 5th and January 4th as you scroll down. I really like this setup. Um, I find this extremely useful, especially because I'm using this for ideas and I'm really only writing down ideas. So this is just one giant list. I do use queries and different pages to organize these ideas, which I will go into. The way I set up my template is at the very top, I have a timestamp. So obviously I know what day it is, but I also wanna know, again, as I scroll down, I wanna see what day of the week it is that I wrote these daily notes. Yesterday I have Wednesday, and then I have the time that I wrote it. So 7.43 in the morning, this is in 24 hour format. I have the top, which is just shorthand what the idea is coming right off the top of my head. This one is customized tag for Rome content. If I click down, I will have a, another block to prompt me to write the full title. So this is the working title that I will put up on the website or YouTube, wherever I'm putting this. Below that is the description, and that's also usually in shorthand. So for this, it just says just the CSS to copy plus tag ideas. And then below that, I have the slider, which is telling me how difficult this content would be to write. So what am I in for if I decide to schedule this content? Uh, for this, it is a four, so it's not too difficult to make. So for instance, if I was coming towards the end of the day and I haven't published anything and I'm kind of like, damn, I should have published something today. I will come back to this list and go down the sliders, um, actually, if I shift click on ideas, I have a query set up. So if I am looking for a task that is more easy and won't take me too much time, I will probably go and do that one. And I'll click into ideas to see. And in this query, it's basically just, actually, let's just retype it. Going forward slash query and not. And inside this first link, I'm going ideas. And I'm going to find another page called slider, which is automatically made when you create a slider. And then in not, I'm going to put not done. So now I have all my ideas that are not done and I get to see the slider. Below that, there is an embed um, to another idea and that's Rome 42 blocks. That's actually what I'm working on right now in this video. I am basically just telling myself here that I want to create the content, customize tags in Rome in tandem or 
close to the release of this video. And yeah, that's pretty much the anatomy of an idea. This is Media Hub, this is for my shop. And then I have my free writing space at the bottom. So what I did was clear this template and I'm just gonna rewrite it for you. When you go to create a template, you're gonna go hashtag 42 smart block and then give it a title. So this one's gonna be called daily and inside of it, I want to have that timestamp. So in order to do that, I'm gonna trigger the smart block or Rome 42 menu. There is a uh, native keystroke to do this and that's lowercase j twice, but you can customize this yourself. And um, I might do that at the end. So lowercase j twice, I'm just gonna look for date and that's this date smart block command. And inside of here, I'm going to go today. And then comma, I'm going to click four lowercase d's and that's formatting for the day of the week. Do a couple of spaces and I'm gonna go back into that menu and I'm gonna find time, time smart block command, and that's it. Let's see how that looks. So I go into that menu with the lowercase j's and I'm just looking for daily, which is the title of that template. And it'll give me Thursday and the time that I am filming this. Now you'll see down here that I formatted it into an inline code just because I like the way it looks. So I can actually do that as well pretty easily. I can put those ticks around this smart command and it will appear with this format. So the next thing down I have is hashtag ideas. So what I am actually gonna do is create another template before I continue. Hashtag 42 smart block to set up the content of an idea. I'm gonna call it id.meta and inside I'm gonna go title, inside of there full title for the working title on the website and then under that is description. And then flush with full title, I have that slider. Now inside of ideas, what I'm gonna do is create a button that's going to trigger this ID meta template. To do that, I'm gonna go into that drop down menu again and then search for button. And it's gonna be that button smart block starter. And it's gonna prompt me to give this button a name, which I'm gonna name it new idea. Give it a brain emoji, new idea, okay. And then it's gonna say, what is the name of the smart block? So I wanna grab ID meta. I also wanna write three to five ideas every morning. So instead of just copying and pasting this like five times, I'm actually just gonna create another command. Going back into that menu, I'm gonna look for repeat. Here, I'm gonna just put five. Go into daily notes and let's try that one more time, daily. And it will give me five buttons for new idea. Also that Thursday is formatted correctly. And if I click on new idea, it will give me all of the content of ID meta template. Let's say I only have three ideas that I can think of. I can just go here and just delete those other two buttons. If it's Saturday, I want to write down two solid newsletter ideas because I go to write my newsletter every Sunday or Monday. So I'm gonna say if the day of the week is a Saturday. So going into this menu, I'm gonna look for if day, it should be right here, if day of week smart block command. And in here, I'm just gonna say six. So Monday equals one and Sunday equals seven. And after this, I'm just gonna put hashtag newsletter. And under here, I am going to copy this button in its entirety and just change five to two. So right now I'm filming this on a Thursday. So to test this, I'm gonna change six to four. See how this works. So pretending today is a Saturday. I'll have something like this. Now going down, I have another condition that requires if day of week. And in here, I'm gonna put seven. So this is the day I'm writing my newsletter most likely. I've been really trying to beef up my newsletters. They've been kind of sparse lately. I'm not upset with them, but it's just, I wanna write a bit more. So I need to prompt myself to think of some subtitles. So I have the main idea of the newsletter, the main content, and then I want like something else underneath. I want a subtitle that's talking about maybe do a more personal section, I don't know. So I'm gonna prompt myself to do that. I'm gonna have the title of the newsletter and then below that two subtitles to think of other ideas. Below that, I'm gonna create a query that is grabbing yesterday's ideas. Here's the thing, this isn't super necessary. I'm just a little bit extra, but if I go into daily notes and clearly, if I'm in the sixth, going down to the fifth, I can just scroll down and see my ideas. 
uh, for newsletter. I don't need like a window into yesterday if I can just scroll down. But there is a jump to date feature where you can jump to a certain date. So if I jump to the 7th, I won't be able to scroll down to see yesterday. So I wanna create a window into yesterday. So I'm just gonna go forward slash query and, and put in here newsletter. So I want all newsletter ideas that are from yesterday. So I'm actually gonna use a smart command inside of this query. Get that menu up and I'm going to look for date again, just like the timestamp, smart block command. And I'm just gonna make sure it says yesterday instead of today. Before I test this out, I do want to go into yesterday from today, the 7th, and just put in an example newsletter since yesterday was not Saturday and just put a test in here, say test idea one and test idea two. Go back to the template, make sure seven says four for this example and try it out. So it will give me this query and it will show me yesterday's ideas in this little box. Test idea one and two. So the last part of my template is the free writing. So what I'm gonna do is just go free write and add a Pomodoro timer. So I'm just going forward slash Pomodoro timer. Making sure it says 10 minutes. Now I could just leave it at this and be done, but you can actually add another smart command that's called focus on block. So going into the menu, focus on block, so that whenever a template is generated, when it's done generating, it will focus on this block. Now, be careful with this. Um, I've noticed that putting it at the end of a template works just fine, but you might have to use it in um, at the same time as cursor command. Again, the documentation, I think, goes into that a little bit. All right, and let's check this out. Pretending that today is Sunday, this is how it will look. And now I'm inside of that free write block automatically. And I can start writing for 10 minutes. And to start that Pomodoro timer, you're just pressing the button. So beyond this, you can use some other stuff inside of these smart commands. I mean, this is just literally scratching the surface. You can use JavaScript. For instance, I have one down here, my main notes for finding definitions. Um, you can also do special formatting. Um, you can automate link formatting with clipboard paste. So pasting whatever is in your clipboard. I mean, you could just really like go off the deep end, whatever you need. You can probably figure out a solution for inside of Rome 42. There's also a lot of use cases constantly populating inside the Rome community. So I recommend just taking a look. I'm going to put a bunch of links down in the description if you want to start doing that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. What I'm going to show you now is just really quickly how you can create your own custom command. I actually deleted my custom command for the sake of this video, so I'm going to show you mine. So I'm going to put in hashtag 42 setting and then smart block trigger. And this is case sensitive and no um, spaces. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Um, and then after this, I'm going to put in my shortcut. So for me, it's the section key twice. And on a Mac, that's option six twice, if you're curious. And then from here, what I'm going to do is just restart the browser. And now if I go to trigger a menu with my section key, it should pop up with that menu. If you use Rome 42, if you use Rome Research in general, I want to talk to you. Like, I'm really into this. I feel like most of my audience are Notion people um, or RemNote, but I just want to like get some people that use Rome because I've been super into it in the last like month, month and a half. Um, and I've been really like exploring more of how it's making my life so much easier. It's making my life for note taking so much easier. 
Um, I love RemNote and Notion. I mean, the reason I have this channel and my website is to explore all these programs. Like I'm not sitting here trying to choose the best one or the one that's the best fit for me. Um, I mean, if we're gonna talk about like which one I enjoy the most, it's probably Obsidian because it's the most reliable. But um, the point is of, of making this channel and my website is to explore these programs. And I give myself little projects in each program so that I can explore it properly. And with Rome, I'm exploring it with um, a time period sort of during the biblical time. I am very much into like history. And so I'm creating timelines almost quite literally inside of Rome. And it's working out really well with these templates and working out really well with smart blocks. Like I'm really impressed. But also uh, people ask me like, where, where do I put everything? Where do I back everything up? And I back everything up in Obsidian. I back everything up to my computer is basically what it is. And in order to make everything cohesive, um, I do have universal tags that I use everywhere. It's not a long list of tags, but sort of general ideas, general concepts to connect everything together. When it comes to other links, sometimes there are downsides. Sometimes I have duplicates and it can get a little annoying, but it doesn't happen all the time and I end up just merging them. So if I have, if I'm talking about a guy, maybe a historical figure in one place and it's the same guy in another, and they're spelled differently. They're kind of like, uh, one has a lowercase, one has a capital, and like they end up being two separate links. I'll just merge them. Um, again, doesn't happen very often, but that is a downside. But yeah. So as I go in and explore other programs, now you know, I'm backing up into Obsidian. I could do a video on it, but I feel like that might be a little boring. <laughs> might do like write something about it. Anyway, so if you have any questions about this, if you wanna talk about Rome more, Discord link is in the description and we can have a conversation. Notifications on YouTube are kind of getting away from me. So I'll be more likely to respond to you on the Discord channel. All right, so I'll see you guys on Sunday and the rest of the week on Twitter.